Right, well I'm about to head off down to the Gold Coast for the next exciting step, something that I now need to be doing now that we're getting close to the move, and that is to speak with Cookie of S&H Spas, just to revisit after all of these years, he built that rig quite a number of years ago, and so I want to go through everything just to refresh my mind that everything's covered. There are a couple of things that I'm adding, so I just want to be able to sit down with him whilst we're looking at the rig and go through all of those things. I'm going to get some film of chatting with Cookie, but oh, I am so excited about this. This is really adding to the whole change in everything that's going on at the moment, and every day I'm doing something all directed at moving Mistress out of here and getting her into the water. Cookie, finally! <laughs> Hang on, Bruce. Yeah, mate. After all these years. Yeah, I reckon. My God. All right. So, in terms of, in terms of what you need to do on the Thursday, putting it all together. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, my idea, as I said, was to deliver the masks on the Wednesday. Yep. Right. Put it together. Yep. I'm going to put the spreaders on. Put all the rigging on, yep. um, you know, finalise everything, mm -hmm. right, and then have it all ready for you yep. when you come out of the shed yep. on Thursday morning. Right, right. right. Yep. So, and then um, I'll get Colin to organise the crane, right, and we lift the press on the boat, right. Oh, yes, yeah, okay. I've got to do um, the Swage some swages, I've got to do um, the forestay, right, forestay, backstay. And in a four state. That's all done to measure on once the rig's uh, yeah, up. And then once we got, well, the, the caps caps and intermediates are all done, right? Did that uh, work out fine, yeah. that, that measurement? Yeah. Yeah, within five mil. But I'd already worked it out by uh, going through all the paperwork that gotcha. Peter left. Gotcha. You know, yeah. Yeah. And we lofted it out again here. Oh, did you? Right. And measured it all. And it was and spot as on. said, within. Within five, ten mil. So Which doesn't matter to you because you got adjustment. Of adjustment. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And I said the only ones that we haven't done is the four state because we've got to get the rake. Yep. Right. The four state, inner four state, and back state. Gotcha. Right. So we'll lift, as I said, we'll lift the press on the boat. Right. right. We'll stand the mast, right, put the caps on and the, and the intermediates on, a uh, couple of ropes forward and back, right. Um, I'll measure the four stay, back stay, and inner four stay. Swage them on. Right, right. Then once they're on, right, we'll just tension them up a bit. Yep. Right. Get the crane to lift the press back off the boat. Yep. Into the trailer. Yep. And then we the just finalise uh, finalise tensioning the rigging. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. in terms of time, once, for example, once uh, once the crane, once the crane's arrived. Yeah. What what would you say? Two to three hours. Oh no, an hour. One hour, yeah, really? an hour, something like that. Cheapest yeah. creepers, that's yeah. quick. Yeah, it doesn't take long. <laughs> <laughs> when you know what you're doing. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, that's great. All right. So, and also, when I come up on uh, on the Wednesday, I'll check to make sure that all the pins and everything are the right size, you know, so we don't have any hiccups. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. In terms of the uh, chain plates you're talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Right. They should be right. Um, they're all Ronson rigging screws, right? So you know, they're not a problem with them. Yeah, and I made the holes in the chain plates per 
what Peter told me. Tighten your half inch and yeah, five eight. Yes, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, okay. All right, that well, sounds good. Now I've got, like I said, where's my notes? I've got a, I've got a list of questions for you. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is in no order. Yeah. All right. One thing that, as like an extra, which I hadn't mentioned to you, was which doesn't have to be done before the rig stood, yeah. but it's just to talk to you about it, was the frame for the radar. I'm going to get a Raymarine radar. Yeah. And as far as you're concerned, is that best, I, I do that after the rig stood or? Well, um, it can go on because they're, they're, only, um, they're only normally metal threaded on. Then you get your, your electrician or whoever's doing it, you know, wiring well, it. I'll be doing it. We're doing it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's all, it's all plug and play. Yeah, okay. So there's no yeah. wiring and such. Yeah. Okay. No, that's, that's so I, yeah. I guess I guess um, well if if you've got it, it's going to be easier to put it on before the mask goes up. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like for example, on the Wednesday, yeah, that could be done. You know yeah, what I mean? that's what I mean. You know, if, if you've got the if you've got the stand, yeah, we can put it on beforehand. Which I don't have at the moment, but the the plan is to have that. Have it? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll do that. Okay. You know. Yeah. All right. So that's not a big no, not, not a big, a big okay. not a big drama. All right. Like we're going to go and see the rig shortly, yeah. or at some yeah. stage. Yeah. Um, and so some of the questions I'll leave until we're out there. Yeah. What What do you? This might sound like a silly question, but what do you need on the deck to to stand it? And what I mean by that is, I mean, of course, uh, the mast step's going to be in place. So yeah. I've got another question about that. There's going to be all the mooring cleats. Yeah. You know, for like heavy cleats yeah, on no. deck. Do you need anything else beyond that? No. Um, what I mean is like winch, a winch. Does that? Does well, a winch you've got have... winches on the mast, right? Yeah. So we don't need any winch uh, on the deck. Don't, you don't, don't need. Don't have... no. The only reason yeah. I say that because the the deck is going to be uh, top coated. Yeah. And then the non skid and fitting all the deck gear was going to be like after. Afterwards, yeah. Right. Yeah. So that that's that doesn't bother you. No, no, that don't, that won't worry me. Okay. Um, I don't need any winches. Okay. Um, and hopefully I don't have to go up the rig at all. Yes. You know. Exactly. So um, yeah, that's that's okay. it. Yep. All right, that one's good. Yep. What would you suggest, or does it really matter much in terms of bonding compound between the mast step and the? Oh, just Cigaflex. Yeah. Just Cigaflex. Or, or like Fixtech, any of their products. Yeah, that Fixtech. Yeah, that stuff. You know, just anything on, on the recommend. base. Yeah. Right between the base and the and your deck. Yeah. Right. As far as what the mast sits on, nothing. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just alloy, alloy to alloy. I actually yeah. haven't put the mast step itself on the on the boat yet. Yeah. Um, but that was yeah, just a question. So it doesn't really matter. Just whatever's recommended. Yeah. I, it's, I just, it's just got to be sealed. Yeah. 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 It's not taking any weight or anything. No. Would you say that all up the rig weighs about two hundred grams? Like boom, standing rigging, mast. Oh. Uh, what what what, what guesstimate would you say? With the rigging on it. Um. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be going up about 300. Oh, really? Three, yeah. Okay. Yeah, all together. Right. Okay. You know, because you've got a bit of wire on it. Well, there's winches as well, I guess. There's that, winches, that, 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 a bit that, of wire, and, yeah, yeah. you know. I know that it was 8.1 kilograms per metre just yeah. for the mast section. Yeah. But no, I think all the rest we can do out on the rig. Yeah, well, it's, um, it's all hanging up there. Yeah, no more. So that's what that'd be, right? That's it, yeah. Right. And so I'm pretty sure Peter's just obviously given me an off card. Yeah. But I think the you remember I said that there was something about it. So what it must have been was finding the right car. No, there's no cars, that's right. Yeah. So, so I've got to, right. I've got to talk to you about that. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 So you could, did that did that come out okay because you were saying there was only one available? That's right. Yeah. Well, if you you still want to stay with just a five minutes. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we'll just leave it as it is. Yeah. 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 Okay. But I mean, because you were saying that's the only one. That was the only one. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And, and um, was that here on the Gulf or Bristol? Yeah. No. In uh, in Berlin. But in fact, yeah. That was something that wasn't. Uh, am I right that there's a a horn or something? That there's a lug on here, right? Okay, you know I mean? right. one there and yeah. one on the bottom of the boot. 
right? Uh, there is, right, yeah, right. But there was no actual no, no, There's no block no. or tackle or nothing. That's right, that's right. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Um, what would, just to briefly ask, what sort of suggestions would you point me in the direction of in terms of, like, would pulley or strut? Yeah, just go block and tackle. Block and tackle. You, you wouldn't four, go four to one, five to one, block and tackle. Top end lift is fine, yeah. don't worry Top about it. Yeah. yeah, don't worry about it. Right, yeah. right, okay. That's the easiest. That's actually yeah. nice to hear because yeah. um, you hear a lot of people talking about having a strut. Yeah. But, no, or, but, all the ones that I've dealt with lately have had uh, gas struts in them, yep. right, which is not bad, right, right, because the springs, what happens is they can't make the spring out of stainless steel, right, right so they make it out of steel, so get rusts right. away, yeah, yeah. you know, it's um, going to be yeah. visiting you for problems later, yeah, right, so right. gas struts are okay, but right. uh, I just go for a block and tackle, have a topping with, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. topping with anyway, yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. 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 all right, with what we've got at the moment, or what, what's your right. understanding at the moment? I want to work out what total diameter of wiring is going to be coming down the marks because I've already got some uh, steel pipe welded yeah. through the deck, yeah. but I have a feeling it's going to be touch and go in terms of diameter, to be okay. honest. Well, well all, all you've got is now is your radar cable, right? Move radar, and there's two cables. Or whatever yeah, it is, yeah, that's you know? it, that's it. And then you've got that, and then that's all you've got. Yeah, we'll see. That's nothing. Um, that's right. And I, I have a feeling that will be the same diameter as the as the pipe that I've got to go through on there. Yeah. So your radar, your radar will that should come that. out of there, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. God, that's it. <laughs> yeah. That's going to say because I was envisaging having the weld no, no, more no, on the no, deck. Your radar, your radar should come out of there. Brilliant. Really no. problem. Job, that's so and good. You, gotta, you can't see it, but you've got a 32 mm conduit. Yeah, I remember that that was actually inside there. there. For your yeah, it's on brilliant. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's riveted in yeah. certain spots along the length. Yeah. The outlet. Yeah. Did that end up getting done yeah. internally or externally? No, it's internally. It is internally. Okay. And yeah, that's it. That's it and green, uh, green and white, right? Yeah. With a block and tackle yeah. inside. Yeah. And the lazy jets. Yeah. Was that? Are you lying there? Am I lying there? Yeah, that's right. Good, good. Everything about this rig can be summarised in two words, quality and strength. Thanks sincerely, Peter and Cookie.
for your highly skilled design and fabrication work and for taking care of Mistress's rig over these past years. Well, thanks very much for everything. Okay. Nice, no to, nice yeah. to see it, and this looks absolutely 100% schmicko. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Thank you, Cookie. Thanks. Appreciate it. Right on, mate.